Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC without any data loss. This method is perfect for in-place upgrade. That is, if you are already on Windows 10 and want to keep all your files and applications. We will be using the most setup registry ACK method. It typically bypasses TPM and CPU requirements. Let's begin. So here we have a Windows 10 PC that we want to upgrade to Windows 11. As you can see from the Windows update page on the settings app, this PC doesn't meet the requirement to run Windows 11. It says here your PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. We can also check that using a Microsoft tool the PC Air Check app. Uh, I'll put a link in the description on where to download the app from. So let's use the app to check if this PC meets the system requirement to run Windows 11. You click on check now and you see it says this PC doesn't meet the requirement to run Windows 11 because TPM 2.0 is not enabled. It cannot detect TPM 2.0. So this PC is not supported. Okay. So let's go ahead and install Windows 11 on this PC anyway. So for this particular method, there are some key preparatory steps you need to take. First, make sure you are running Windows 10, which we are. Second, ensure that you have your files packed up. Third, ensure to download the official Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft website. So let's go ahead and download that. So just open your favorite browser search for windows 11 iso make sure you are downloading from microsoft website so we can click on this first result here okay once the page opens you scroll down and look for the windows 11 iso that's what we want to download so you select the download windows 11 yes that's it and then you confirm now we select the product language. Before we do this, something I must point out here. It's important you select the same language as your Windows 10 PC. Otherwise, the option to keep your files will not come up. So you can confirm which language you have on your Windows 10 PC by going to settings, go to time and language, go to the language. So my own language for this PC is English Ireland. Right, so you need to note this. So let's go back to the download page. So here you need to select English International. So every other, if you're using English United States, you select that, but every other English, you go with English International. So this is fine. Select this and confirm. So now you click on 64 bit download. This is gonna take a while. It's about 7.2 gig. So we'll come back once it's finished downloading. So now our Windows 11 ISO has finished downloading. So let's go to the download folder. So here is our Windows 11 ISO file. Double click on it to mount it. Click on open here. And that's it. So here we have the setup.exe file. Don't launch this yet. So we have to apply the ARC before we launch this. Let's go on ahead now and apply the ARC. So to do that, you, we need to create the registry key. Go to search menu and type reg edit. And click on the registry editor to open it. Click yes here. So once this opens, go to your local machine, go to system, go to setup, and look for the more setup key. So the more setup key is not here. So we need to create one. So right click on setup and then click on new and then key. So type this exactly as it is. More setup. That's it. And enter. Now we will create the bypass value inside the more setup key. Make sure this more setup key is highlighted. Come to the blank page on the right hand side. Right click on it. Click on new. Click on D word 32 bit value 
and then type this value exactly as it is. Allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Please note the capitalizations where they are. And then enter. Let's make this bigger. Now double click on it and change this value data to 1 and then click on OK. Now you can close the registry editor. At this point, I recommend to restart your PC. This is to ensure that the OS fully registers and applies the registry change. We will continue after the restart. So now we can go ahead and run the upgrade. So just go back to the virtual drive where you mounted the Windows 11 ISO, which is this folder. Double click on setup to launch it. So this will launch the installer. Click yes. We have the options to now install Windows 11. For the purpose of this tutorial, I want to change our setup downloads update because of time. So I would say don't download update right now. So just give me Windows 11 without the update and the drivers. Then next, that will make it faster. For your own installation, you can choose to allow the updates to continue. So we give it time now. If the app does not work, you will not get to this page. You would have seen something to the effect that your PC cannot install Windows 11. So let's accept the license terms. So now you choose what to keep. So this is the part where you choose to keep your personal files and apps, thereby ensuring there is no data loss during the upgrade. So we are going to select the first option that says keep personal files and apps. So we click on next and continue. So we just click on install. So at this point, you just follow the prompts. So we'll come back to this when it's done installing. And there you have it. Our brand new Windows 11 OS running on an unsupported PC. We have our centralized start menu and taskbar. We have successfully used the most setup registry arc to upgrade this PC. Per adventure, you prefer other methods. Please check my channel or the links in the description for other methods you can use. If this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments if this worked for you. Thanks for watching.